This is Judge Martin Hoffman. Uh, we've called to a uh, hearing today, cause number 192397. The case is LaWanda D. Harris, uh, plaintiff and Calvin Anderson SR as next friend of CA minor, CA minor and PA minor and HA minor plaintiff's intervenors versus Ephraim Wiggins and LaWanda D. Harris. Uh, what we're about to do is a minor prove up to make a determination of whether or not the settlement that's been reached in this case on behalf of the children who are involved is in the best interest of these children. Uh, if I could have the attorneys uh, make their appearances, please. This is Hillary Rogers on behalf of the intervener plaintiffs, the um, Mr. Calvin Anderson Sr. on behalf of his four minor children. And this is Stacy Glenn on behalf of defendant Ephraim Wiggins. This is Maria Aceves appearing as the guardian ad litem for the uh, minor children. All right, uh, who's gonna take the lead on this? Ms. Rogers or Ms. Aceves? It doesn't matter to me. I, I can do it, Maria, or if you wanna do it, you, you're more than welcome. You're welcome, Hillary. I'll uh, just follow up with some follow-up questions, that's fine. Okay, sounds great. Uh, Mr. Anderson, are you there? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so I just wanna confirm first, Mr. Anderson. Oh, I need to swear are... in first. My apologies, Mr. Anderson, Judge. if you could raise your right hand. Do you swear or affirm the testimony you're about to give shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes. Ms. Rogers, you may proceed. Thank you, Judge. Mr. Anderson, you understand that you are the next friend of the minor children involved in this case, correct? Yes. You are the father of C.A. Jr.? Yes. You are the father of C.A.? Yes. You are the father of P.A.? Yes. And you are the father of H.A., correct? Yes. Were these four children involved in an automobile collision on October 27th of 2018? Yes. Did these four children suffer injuries as a result of this collision? Yes. And um, A Jr. was um, 16 at the time of this accident, but he has actually reached the age of majority and he is now 18, correct? Yes. Okay. Um, CA was also, um, I think he was 15 at the time of this accident, but he is now 16, correct? Yes. And PA was 14, but is now 15? Yes. And HA was 13, but is now 14. Does that all sound yes. correct to you? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, as a result of this accident, did these four children receive medical treatment? Yes. Is that medical treatment complete? Yes. Would you say that these minor children are in reasonably good health today? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, and you understand that we're here today to approve an, a settlement for this case? Yes. You understand that there is a guardian ad litem that has been appointed by the court and that guardian ad litem represents the children and not you? Yes. And do you understand that the defendant in this case is paying the fees for the guardian ad litem? Yes. And you understand that this case is not going to trial and you are waiving the minor's rights to a jury trial by accepting this settlement? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go through the breakdown for each one of these children and I just wanna make sure that you agree, okay? Okay. So, um, the amount for CA is going to be a total of $17,198, is that correct? Yes. And you understand that, um, Judge, do you want me to go through the breakdown of each of each um, settlement, correct? I think we have to. Yeah. Okay. So um, you understand that CA of that amount will be receiving 
$1,644.75 to be placed into the registry of the court for the benefit and use of the PA? Yes. And you understand that the total sum for PA is $10,706? Yes. And that $4,736.75 will be placed into the registry of the court for the benefit and use of the PA? Yes. And you understand the total sum for HA is $7,540? Yes. And $3,806.09 will be placed into the registry of the court for the benefit and use of HA. Do you understand that? Yes. Okay. And you understand that if this case went to trial, you may have gotten more, less, or zero compared to this settlement? Yes. And you understand that all of these funds are for the benefit of the children and not for you as next friend? Yes. Are you asking the court to approve the settlement for these minor children? Yes. Okay, I pass a witness. Okay, Mr. Anderson, um, this is Maria Aceves. I'm the guardian ad litem. Do you understand who I am and that I represent your minor children? Yes. And you and I had an opportunity to meet before today. Is that right? Yes, ma'am. We met at my office and I have, I had an opportunity to meet with you as well as your four children, correct? Yes. Okay, and in that meeting, we discussed the accident um, as well as the children's injuries, among other things, correct? Yes. And how is uh, CA Jr. doing today? Uh, he's doing great. He's 100, back 100%. Okay, how is CA doing today? Uh, he's doing well, good and well. Okay, how is PA doing today? He's doing well. And how is HA doing today? She's doing well. Okay. Um, in terms of the settlement breakdown, I'm just going to go over in a little bit more detail um, as to the allocation of the funds. Um, if you'll just bear with me one moment. <clears throat> So it looks like for CA Jr., um, the total settlement was $9,462, correct? Yes. And of that money, $5,500 was paid for by defendant LaWanda Harris. Yes. Okay. And $3,962 was paid for by defendant Ephraim Wiggins, correct? Yes. Okay. Um, it's my understanding that the attorney's fees for CA Jr. Um, were reduced down to $3,154. Yes. Okay, and the expenses on um, the case for CA Jr. were also reduced to $20.58. I'm yes. sorry, can you say that again? Yes, the um, expenses for the case of CA Jr. were reduced down to $20.58. Correct? Yes. Oh. Okay. <laughs> sure. I'm sorry, I thought you were still talking about that later. It's okay, sir. Um, is it your understanding that CA Jr.'s total medical expenses are Two thousand and thirty dollars. Yes. Okay. And so after um, attorneys' fees, expenses, as well as medical expenses, four thousand two hundred and fifty-seven dollars and forty-two cents will be going to CA Junior. Yes. And since he is no longer a minor, those funds will be issued directly to him. Okay. Yes. Okay. And you understand that that's his money. Yes, ma'am. Okay, great. Now moving on to CA. CA, his total case settled for $17,198, correct? Yes. Of those funds, $9,000 uh, will be paid by defendant LaWanda Harris. Yes. $8,198 will be paid for by defendant Ephraim Wiggins. Yes. And it's my understanding that your attorney reduced their fees to $5,732.67. Yes. 
and they also reduced their case expenses to $20.58. Yes. It is further my understanding that the medical expenses for CA are $3,800. Yes. And after uh, the attorney's fees, case expenses, and the medical expenses, the total that will be going into the registry of the court for CA will be $7,644.75. Yes. <clears throat> so, yes. Okay, moving on to uh, PA. Is it your understanding that PA's case settled for a total of $10,706? Yes. And of that, of those funds, six thousand uh, dollars will be paid by defendant Lawanda Harris. Yes. And four thousand seven hundred and six dollars will be paid for by Ephraim Wiggins. Yes. Okay. Um, and the attorney's fees were also reduced for this minor to three thousand five hundred sixty-eight dollars and sixty-seven cents. Yes. Case expenses were also reduced to $20.58. Yes. PA's medical expenses totaled $2,380. Yes. And after attorney's fees, expenses, and medical expenses, the total amount that will be going into the registry of the court for the benefit and use of PA will be $4,736.75. Yes. Yes. Okay, and lastly, as to HA, is it your understanding that the case settled for a total of $7,540 for HA? Yes. And of those funds, $5,000 will be paid for by defendant Lawanda Harris? Yes. And $2,540 will be paid for by defendant Ephraim Wiggins? Yes. Um, additionally, the attorney's fees were also reduced on this one to $2,513.33. Yes. And the case expenses were also reduced to $20.58. Yes. Um, it's my understanding that HA's medical bills total $1,200. Yes. And after the attorney's fees, expenses, as well as medical expenses, the total amount that will be going into the registry of the court for HA will be $3,806.09. Yes. And sir, you understand again that the final settlement? Yes. Okay. And uh, you believe that the settlements will, are in the best interest of your children? Yes, I know. Thank you, sir. I pass the witness. Ms. Glenn. Thank you, Judge. Mr. Wiggins, oh, no, I apologize. Mr. Anderson. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> My name is Stacy Glenn, and I represent Ephraim Wiggins in this lawsuit. Um, I've received a signed copy of the compromise settlement release and indemnity agreement that you signed and had notarized. Did you have yes. the opportunity to, to review the contents of that release agreement? Yes, ma'am. Do you understand that by signing that release and by entering into the settlement before the judge today that you are releasing all of your individual right and all of the rights of your children to bring another lawsuit against Ephraim Wiggins uh, regarding this accident from October 27th of 2018? Yes, ma'am. Okay, and do you understand that Ephraim Wiggins is paying a total sum of $19,406 to your children as a result of this accident? Yes. And do you also understand that after today, you will not be able to come back and ask for additional funds from either Mr. Wiggins or USAA, his insurance company? Yes. And do you understand that if uh, your children develop some issue, some kind of a, a, an injury or an issue in the future that you attribute to this accident, that you still will not be able to pursue any additional funds from Mr. Wiggins or USAA? Yes. Thank you, Mr. Anderson. I'll pass the witness. Thank you.
Mr. Anderson, do you have any questions for me? This is Judge Hoffman. Uh, no, sir. I understand everything. Uh, are your kids doing okay now? Yes, they're doing great. Um, I do have a question for the attorneys. So, uh, Ms. Glenn, you just represent <clears throat> Mr. Wiggins, is that right? That is correct, Your Honor. Who represents uh, Ms. Harris? She, she never filed an answer, Your Honor. Did she make a payment or did all the money come from Ms. Wiggins? There is money coming from Ms. Harris as well. And who, who's the insurance company? American Access. And they didn't want to prove this up? I, I guess not, Your Honor. The, the adjuster is aware that the hearing was today. Okay. Review the um, releases from American Access as well, Your Honor. And did uh, who, who's paying you today then, Mrs. Savas? Um. Well, <laughs> um, I submitted my guardian ad litem report, um, and my fees for this case are a um, thousand five hundred dollars. Um, I, Miss. Um, Ms. Glenn, will you be speaking to the adjuster to try to um, figure out how the fees are gonna be allocated? <laughs> well, sure, I will. I can represent to you if I don't hear back, that's a low enough sum um, that I can agree to pay that. Okay, okay. great. Thank you. I appreciate that. So. It was a little confusing there. Okay, uh, is there a report of the guardian yeah. item? <laughs> Do you have a report? Uh, yes, Your Honor. So, after, yes, Your Honor. Um, the report was sent over to the court for review. Um, and after reviewing the file, as well as meeting with the family and the minor children, um, it is my recommendation that the settlements at this time be approved by the court because I do believe they are in the best interest of the minors. And uh, did you e file those or did you just? Uh, email the court? I emailed the court and so I'd like to introduce it as an exhibit if at all possible. Okay. Uh, Tony, I guess, you know, we have, we're kind of in the wild west right here. Uh, I'll go ahead and email you the exhibit. She's emailed those to me. Uh, I'll email you the exhibits, the guardian that lighter report you're offering is exhibit A. Yes, your honor. Any objection to the admission of exhibit A? No, okay, uh, the court will follow the recommendation of the guardian ad litem and the recommendation of the parent and approve the settlement uh, in, as uh, discussed and as well as approve the uh, guardian ad litem fees in this case. Um, is there any other matters we need to discuss? Thank you so much for your service. You did a great job as always. And uh, Mrs. Sabas, is there anything else we need to, uh, to discuss? Uh, thank you, Judge. No, at this time, I think we can address um, all the outstanding issues. Like I indicated, Calvin Ander, I'm sorry, CA Jr. <coughs> will be receiving the check directly since he's no longer a minor. Um, and the other three children, their checks will be going into the registry of the court so they have access to those funds when they turn 18. Right. We're going to go ahead and stop recording. And uh, thank you so much, everyone, for appearing. Uh, and uh, we appreciate uh, your service again. Thank you so much.